Hello and welcome to A Brit Reacts to Bollywood and I want to look some of the suggestions that you guys have made in the last video which got a lot a lot of feedback. I think I'm going to look at another song from this film because there's been so much information and excitement from a lot of you. So I'm going to take a look at Arda Hai Chandrama Rat RD, which is a terrible pronunciation of your beautiful language from the film Navrang. Incredible. I didn't realise that her husband who wrote and directed this was 35 years her senior or something. So much creativity with this guy, A.R. Rahman. Let's take a look. physicality, her skill, he's very classically presented here, first year the star. Yes, I'll remain, remain half. Does it mean hidden, partially hidden? What? Look at this. She's incredible. Incredible. She's very skilled. It's so spooky. so weird about this thing. Magical and Lotus 
Lotus Blossom. like a master class. so mystical and mysterious it's like a dream the music imagine that music with that drum with the orchestra with that stage that production stage there the very curious very curious thing to watch it's not like a normal film there's something in this that i'm trying to read into and this it's eluding me somehow her whole performance is a very different quality to her previous one and to what most performances you'd see in cinema actually it's not quite what you'd call a music video or a musical performance it's something different there's a formality to it and a stillness a quiet nature to it which kind of i think is supposed to reflect hidden nighttime scene that they're in the fact that this stage represents nature spot at night under the stars under half a moon half darkness a half meet between them reflects that is represented by that somehow this hidden nature this darkness represents this hidden relationship there's something really interesting about that as a sort of poetic metaphor as an image that they portray in this scene in this stage with the lightning going off in the background uh, across the valley from their beauty spot there and she is almost not a person here and perhaps she literally isn't a person in this story in this scene she is something else she's like a sort of force of nature or some nature nymph or spirit or something it doesn't look human to me she's got this incredible set of pots on her head she's got this incredible jingling uh, trouser outfit and her makeup is very hides her features the the shroud hides her features the the top of seemingly flowers hides her features and she comes down to pick up a lotus blossom from the pond and then emerges again up on top almost in an inhuman way it's all very curious and he is all too human very still very composed very respectful it's a very strange and i say strange in a positive way scene very mystical and spiritual Whew. The music's beautiful, isn't it? I want to know what to see more of this. Maybe there's more songs worth seeing or expressions in this film, but it certainly is an unusual film. Is there a an aspect of, of Indian Vedic mythology that this legend or story that this represents? It's a very beautiful and sort of soul-calming visual and audio experience. <laughs> it's really beautiful. And there's something about it that is beyond my ability to put description. It's something mystical. I love it. Let me know if there's more from this or another film. I see that Sandia was also in a film called Sarah, which looks fun and a more traditional representation of, of Indian cinema. What do you think? All right.
I love to hear your feedback. I am your Brit reacting to Bollywood. I wish you all a wonderful week. And I intend to visit India next year. Let me know locations. Might be worth visiting. All right. Chin chin. Cheerio.